One of the things I love to do on this channel is take questions from the audience and bring it to experts. Cause you know what, even though I have 22 years of experience, owned and purchased, flipped a lot of real estate, I have no idea what's going on in most parts of the real estate game, especially mortgage. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing good, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. So I got a question from Kim. Shout out Kim for sending me this question. She asks about family opportunity mortgages. And when she asked, I'm like, that can't be a thing. What the heck is that? And you said, no, that's real. I've done some. Oh, done some of these for sure. And so I'll share it before I do keep the questions coming. These are the questions that, you know, I'll, I'll forget. I'll forget what people are interested in. I'll forget that, you know, this is just something that I, I, I know because Kim, many consumers, quite honestly, Mike, like I was teaching real estate agents about this. They don't know that this exists. So family opportunity mortgage is the ability to buy as a primary for your parents, even if you're not going to live in it as your primary. Wait, 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 wait. So basically the idea is your parents are getting on in years, I'm guessing. Correct. You probably don't, I mean, your options are buy something close to you or put them in a home, I'm guessing. And this is a way that you could use a mortgage, again, fam family opportunity mortgage, giving you the best rates because it's owner occupied. Right. And for a lot of people, the most important part is less capital. We, ah. most of us know owner occupied, you can do conventional 5% down. Now, 3% down is first time buyer. That's, that's something you that's can't out. do with this product, but 5% 5% down conventional the really? terms that come with a primary, which are, you know, roughly speaking, 1% lower in interest rate than an investment property. Sure. And it's, it's really easy, Mike. You, you just have to show that the parent doesn't have the financial means to purchase on their own. And then the child comes on as the borrower. Okay. And, you know, basically co-signs. Here's the cool part, Mike. The parent doesn't have to be on the loan. Oh, the so parents better. got no credit, no income. You know, for a lot of people, I've got a mother-in-law who's, you know, she, she worked, you know, before she retired and, and disability and whatnot, you know, but um, doesn't have a lot of credit and in, in those other things. And so, you know, I'll, I'll share my personal story. I bought a home for my mother-in-law in 2020. My wife and I qualified for it. We didn't have to look at any income documentation for my mother-in-law. We didn't have to run her credit. All we did was show, look, here's disability and social security. That is not enough. Won't right. qualify to buy. Like literally that's it. Interesting. 10% so, down. I don't mean so, to brag, but it's good yeah. to relive the glory days like a high school quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Two and a half percent, 30 year fixed <laughs> money in 2020. Um, Two and a half? Oh my God. <laughs> because that was, you know, you can yeah, get that was the primary rate, yeah. rate that low. That's pretty amazing. So actually I have one question because again, I, I know uh, a lot of, these are baby boomers for the most part, right? Obviously a lot of them are sitting on a lot of equity but they couldn't afford, they couldn't qualify for a mortgage. So could they, in theory, sell their home, use some of that as the down payment? So above 5%, but then again, the kids qualify in the mortgage. Could it be kind of a combination like that? Yeah. I mean, there's no caveat to like where that money came from or, or okay. anything to, uh, of that nature. So um, that could certainly be a thing. Cause I know, um, you know, I happen to be in, kind of the age demographic where I've got kids that I'm trying to figure out how to send them off into the world, good yeah. human beings. And I've also got, you know, a dad, the sandwich generation. Yeah. Who, who were, you know, so we're taking care of, of, of people on both ends. And so I have plenty of conversations like this where it's like, Hey, mm. we're 90 minutes from mom. You know, we'd like to sell her place in Hayward and move her to Sacramento, whatever the case yeah. may be. Um, this is a way to do it. And, you know, there's plenty of, um, people with the financial means, you know, like if you're in your forties and you have an aging parent and you're in your fifties, those are your best earning years. You're yeah. the most likely to qualify for the best financing. And so you can, parent doesn't have to go on the loan. You get, you know, the lower down payment and the best terms that come with primary financing. I did this for a real estate agent buddy who, you know, essentially 
helped his parents purchase a home. Um, mm -hmm. I did it personally, like I talked about, and, and I've done quite a few. It's probably underutilized, right? Oh, I don't think a lot of people absolutely. know Absolutely. I, I've been in the game for 20 some odd years. I thought this was a scam. <laughs> so th this is something, again, folks, if you have an aging parent and you want to know more about this, there is nobody better than somebody that's actually done it. And of course, he comes back every week, Matt, the mortgage guy. How should they reach out to you? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com and we're, we're happy to, to help you. We're in 48 states. So um, I know that my colleagues that you mortgage, if you know, you're doing it in Texas or doing it in Florida or doing it in Tennessee, um, they know how to structure these deals. They're going to have the support of my team to help them. So greatmortgagebroker.com. We're happy to help. Kim, thank you very much for the question, folks. Again, if you have a mortgage question, you can leave it on my channel. You can DM me on Instagram or email me off my website, One Rental at a Time. And I'll ask because again, Kim, I didn't think this was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. Right. Thanks, Matt. And, and, and a real quick shout out to the course and the power of the One Rental at a Time community. If you're in and you know you buy the course and you're in the One Rental at a Time Works community, tag me. Friend yeah. me on Facebook, right? Like I love getting those tags, Mike. I, I don't know if I've told you that personally, but you know, I love the one rental at a time community. And when you ask that question, you get an answer, but a hundred other people see yes. it and they get the answer too. So everybody learns together. It's really powerful. Yeah. And let's get you actually created bonus material that helps save people money on mortgages that's in the course for free. So thank you for doing that. Uh everybody raves about your section. So thank you so much. Great.